Before Donald Trump was a declared presidential candidate, he rose to prominence in some Republican circles by becoming the chief advocate for the false claim that Barack Obama was not born in the United States. This tactic echoed methods from the Jim Crow era, where individuals were illegitimately discredited due to their race. Trump waded into the same waters Wednesday when asked about his likely opponent in the race for president, Kamala Harris, whose mother was Indian and father is Jamaican. Trump was asked if he agreed with recent attacks from some members in the GOP claiming Harris will only be on the Democratic ticket because she's black. Well, I can say, no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage. And she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black. And now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? Trump spoke at the annual convention for the National Association of Black Journalists, where CBS News campaign reporter Torian Small joins me now. Torian, what was the, we heard some laughter there in, the, in that clip. What was the reaction like in the room to the former president's comments? John, the biggest response from the audience was when Trump said those remarks about the ethnicity of the current vice president of the United States of America. I saw audible gasp. Uh, a lot of people had their mouths wide open. This was a shocking moment. And uh, a, a side of the campaign we haven't quite seen just yet. Donald Trump leaned in. And this was after uh, Rachel Scott, one of the moderators for this event, uh, asked him if it's fair for Republicans to call Kamala Harris a DEI hire or a DEI vice president, potentially a DEI president. And he somehow veered off into this conversation about her hiding her Indian identity to appeal to black voters. Uh, this was also his opportunity to speak directly to black voters through this room of black journalists. And um, I, I, I talked to a few uh, folks in the room after this and said that plot was completely lost on them. They saw in their minds someone who was frustrated, annoyed at times, and uh, just downright mean. Uh, Corrine Jean-Pierre, White House Press Secretary, also responded to those remarks during today's White House press briefing. She said it was insulting and that Donald Trump John should put respect on Kamala Harris's name. Um, Torian, how has the GOP um base or lawmakers been responding to, because there have been other mem other Republicans have talked about Harris's ethnicity and gender to, to um, in attacking her as the likely Democratic nominee. Um, from what you're hearing, how's that going over? Well, timing wise, what's interesting about this is this comes after a week of both the Trump campaign and the, his current running mate, J.D. Vance, have been doing a bit of cleanup after uh, Vance's comments from a while ago resurfaced about Kamala Harris being childless and uh, uh, really making disparaging remarks about childless women calling them cat ladies. Uh, so uh, the fact that that followed uh, this event today, followed that, I think is telling of uh, where Republicans believe uh, it's fair game to attack the current vice president on her gender and race. I talked to Trump voters and supporters uh, over the past couple of days uh, while I was out on the trail following J.D. Vance, and I talked to them specifically about the cat lady comments. Many of them were unbothered by them, largely. Uh, there was one supporter who said she would love to see uh, the rhetoric tamped down a bit. She would love to see uh, kindness be reintroduced into presidential politics. But overall, it's playing well with the base. They like when Donald Trump speaks candidly. They like when, uh, you know, they don't pull their punches. So to me, I'm not necessarily seeing Republicans react negatively to attacks like this. Torian Small, thank you so much. And we'll get an update on the Harris campaign from our Ed O'Keefe later in the show.